everybody, Scott here with Stag Arms. Uh, today I have with me Rebby from Mantis and we had a really cool competition while she was explaining how the system works. Stand by. For security, for life. Stag Arms. So, Revy, uh, you came over here to Stag and showed us all about your Mantis laser system, kind of a uh, all-encompassing shooting system, I guess, with lasers. Um, but first, let's tell uh, tell the audience a little bit about yourself and your company. Okay, I work with Mantis Tech. We have been in the training industry for about six years now. We are working on covering anything to do with firearms. So we cover pistol training, shotgun training, AR training. We've got reset systems, laser systems, and then even a training system called the Mantis X10 that tells you how bad you are at shooting and how you can fix it in the future. Or how good you are at shooting. Well, that typically. Yeah, this, you know. <laughs> no, this, it, it, this, uh, the system does it, it keeps you honest. Um, yes. So. So Revy's here because we're gonna we're gonna install the uh, this system on some of our weapons at Shot Show, and so she's kind of going over um, how it works, and and it's really it's um, it's very uh, uh, very active in that you get to you know pick up a gun, you can you can work the gun, you can get a feel for the gun, you can get a feel for the trigger, you can get a feel for all that simply, uh, and and then also accuracy and everything. So it it, it just makes like kind of handling the gun and understand what what, what the gun's all about very fun and exciting and very interactive um, that's and then of course if you can turn it into like a competition with like you know you can have many different types of tar uh, targets which Revy will talk we'll talk about here in a minute um, but it's just it's a really neat system and uh, so you came over you kind of gave us a really a uh, quick lowdown on this is how the system works, and mm -hmm. then we went into a competition. Yes, so we use the Blackbeard system right here. So as you can see, the red pieces in this AR, you've got the bolt carrier group and the magazine battery pack. Blackbeard is a system that you take the bolt carrier group out of your own AR, slide ours in and slide in the magazine battery pack, and it's gonna reset the trigger in your own AR up to 10 times per second, same trigger weight, break, and reset. So you get dry fire training in your own AR with your own platform without changing anything. Yep, it's really, really cool. And then the other, another function, or I guess you can add to this, mm -hmm. is this little gy gyroscope here. Yes, so that is the Mantis X10 on there right now. It just goes on to any Picatinny rail. It works on the rifles, pistols, shotguns, or even archery. And what it does is it traces the movement throughout your trigger pull, whether it's in live fire, dry fire, or CO2 practice, to tell you where you pulled your shot, why, and how to correct it. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's very, um, precise. I mean, any type of movement. It, it, while it was laying here on this counter, I mean, if you just touch the counter, I mean, you see the movement in the gun. Mm -hmm. So it's very precise. Um, so everybody knows, or I would say everybody, if you don't know, dry firing is one of the most important things you, you you can do as a shooter. Okay. Not everybody has an opportunity to get down to the range all the time, but most people have the opportunity in their home to pull out their firearm um, and practice on a target or something. I do it all the time, uh, but this, this just makes it a lot more into, uh, interactive um, because it has a targeting system, which Revy's gonna talk about here, and then you actually get to see you know, how, how well you're actually shooting, and if, you know, because if it's just regular dry firing, you're like, yep, you might think in your head, I'm hitting the target every single time, but in reality, <laughs> uh, the camera doesn't lie. So. Yes. So this is the Laser Academy system. This is actually what we used earlier today to have our own little competition with the Blackbeard system and this to look at, you know, stag arms accuracy and how fast they are at <laughs> shooting. So what it covers is you set up two targets for a duel and it'll split the screen in half and show you two different targets. It'll actually beep for you and both shooters have a second to come up on target, take their shot. Once the shot has been taken, it'll tell you what score you had, the split time, and then total everything up for you so you can see who the winner was. We do have a recoil management drill in the app as well oh. that tells you from the shot breaking how long it takes to get back on target, 
the degree of the muzzle raise, the degree of the muzzle width, and then it'll show you your recoiling the humps back down into settling into the target and how long you let that kind of drag out or are you on top of it and get it fast. Oh, that's way cool. Mm -hmm. So how, how is it, or explain to um, the audience, like how are you, or how is the system able to monitor the actual shots? Because um, in the past I've, I've seen where it's, um, it's like a little target and then when the laser hits the actual target, it, it, I guess it reads it, but mm -hmm. your system here uses a phone which I like that a lot better because it's actually talking to you. You can see a countdown. Mm -hmm. So this one, you would actually set it up so that your camera is facing the targets. And then the targets have these little QR code type things on each corner so that it can read which target you're shooting at. It'll pick up the laser on the target and then it'll transmit it over. Yeah, so it's really cool. It's really, you know, it's really simple. Everybody has a phone and you just set up the phone with your camera facing the target. And it's really that 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 easy. You know? Yep. It's really cool. The competition started off. It was uh, there was four total people. There was two brackets. Okay, and the one bracket starting off was Jordan and I. Okay, and then the mm -hmm. other bracket was Steve and Garth. Yes. Okay. Um, so. You know, my <laughs> first bracket with, between myself and um, and Jordan, it went, it was pretty lopsided. And I was like, ah, still, I'm pretty, pretty proud of myself. Right? Honestly, it's kind of a little disappointed in Scott's performance. He's, uh, <laughs> he, he's Delta Force. I expect him to be like dead on every time. He, I had the red dot and he had the iron sights. Mm -hmm. So to be fair, you know, that was a, a major difference there. So I expected more from Scott, but uh, I think, I think he just needs some practice. I got beat out by the red dot that round, so. Uh, Steve, who's a very good shot, you know, was up against <laughs> Garn, and Garn is a good shot as well. Steve does a little bit more three gun and stuff like that. So I think he made pretty quick work of Garn. I don't really want to talk about that. <laughs> it didn't so well. And I believe Garn might have had the, no, he didn't have the red dot. He did not, no. He did not. That's when, that's when, that's when, that's when, that's when <laughs> Steve went. recovered, he knew. Mm -hmm. So he grabbed the gun with the red dot, Gave Garn the one with the iron sights, and I mean, he just pretty much destroyed Garn. Demolished. Yeah, he's uh, he's good. He's quick too. Yeah. So yeah, he he was on the draw, especially with the, the speed round. That was. But uh, I wasn't too far behind him. Right, it just seemed as soon as he pulled the trigger, I was I was there yeah. right behind. Him. But so it's like it's not good enough when you're going for speed like that. It's all about those milliseconds. So you could be you could be uh, uh, a tenth of a second off, but he still won it. Yeah. So, but. He's good. Yeah, he's very good. Then it was he, uh, so Steve and I were in the finals. I go to grab the gun with the red dot. He was, he was, he <laughs> had already shot and never let it go. Well, I kind of conned him into using the iron sights. Um, <laughs> he was running the red dot for most of the time. I was running the M4 with carry handle. Ready. Sure, two. Yeah, in, so in we're, opinion. we're being a little bit more casual and we were just kind of checking it, it out fun. Mantis, uh, so that was good fun. Ready. one. I tried to do um, the instinctive shooting thing, uh, but it's not something that I've really practiced a whole lot because I'm used to seeing my sights when I shoot all the you time. You can kind of tell. Ready. And uh, it didn't work. Ready. It misses. <laughs> oh, we're it's jumpy. He always thought like he's the he's the top dog, but maybe not anymore. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Ready. You're trying to get there too fast. And I ended up barely, even that, even though that was the case, I barely lost. I think by like one point over one. Steve. So. Mm -hmm. Um, I almost got him. I almost got him. Okay, <laughs> so it, it was it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. That's that terrible. Yeah, it was. Uh, uh, I, I was. I never did anything like that before, and I can see where it definitely showed my weaknesses and strengths. Uh, mostly weaknesses, but uh, you, uh, you can. I improved even just a few shots. So when I was looking at it, I was like, oh man, this is kind of a good thing for me because I'm more of a novice. Like, I'm like you, I know you're pretty good at this stuff. And 
I was like, oh, this is great for dry firing because I, I used to, you know, practice a lot with dry firing. So that's something I want to do more. Uh, training in uh, special forces, um, b b before we even started uh, uh, the, the range day or being on the range, and when, before we even started marksmanship training, we, we did almost 14 hours of dry fire training. And uh, it was the most mind numbing thing we ever did. <laughs> but it just to illustrate how important it is to mm -hmm. dry fire because you're not, I mean, if you do everything right in dry fire, then you're not gonna develop any bad habits, which one of the worst things you could do is develop a flinch. But this kind of, you know, dry firing gets you that, the, the, the movement, okay, mm -hmm. and the repetition, but it also ingrains that once I pull the trigger, like I'm not expecting the shot, so I'm not gonna develop a flinch or anything like that. Yeah, the anticipation. I can't help but think that if we had something like this in that 14 hours of dry fire, <laughs> it would be way more fun. You would cut it down too. You would oh, need it would, the Yes, and hours. we would get a lot more out of it too, yep. because then we'd be able to actually uh, analyze everything we're doing versus the watchful eye of the instructor, mm -hmm. which they were very good, <laughs> but this right here, it's just it just takes it up another lot, another notch. Yes, it gives you positive reinforcement after every single shot instead of after like a string of shots or anything like that. I mean, really, you're doing everything. It's it's good for practicing your uh, great habits because some of the guys who um, don't really shoot a whole lot, they were leaving the weapon on fire, and it's down. I'm like, wait a minute, like that's not how you would normally, you know, mm -hmm. operate a gun, right? If it's, yes. if you're not, if it's down, if it's in the low ready, it's be unsafe mm -hmm. so i mean but it, so it's just it's kind of just reinforces the, you know what makes this system so awesome is you can practice all all your habits you can practice manipulating your safety you, you can obviously to feel the trigger you can feel the take up on the trigger you can understand where the wall is at where it's going to break um the cheek to stock well i mean all that stuff is right then and there so it's really really cool um, and then what also what I was kind of, kind of thinking is as we were putting this together, we didn't have any <laughs> sights on. No. So it, once, once the laser's in there and the laser's kind of uh, bore, bore sighted to it, you can put a scope on it, it makes uh, zeroing a scope really, really fast. So in my mind, I'm like, well, you know what? If I was going out to the range and I'm putting on a new scope, I could put this laser in, bore sight it, which it probably will be very close anyhow, mm -hmm. and then adjust the scope before I go to the range. And it would just save me a little bit of time and maybe some ammo. Yes. So I thought that was that was a, a pretty cool byproduct of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. All our products save on ammo. So you can train at your house, wherever you're at, in your garage, and you don't have to spend the money for the range fees, the ammo, all of that. Do you want one now? Absolutely. Yeah I, yeah, I want one and I didn't even try it and I was like watching you guys so that was really cool. I, uh, I, I want one in like any every platform possible. Yeah. Because you know, it wouldn't hurt no matter yeah. what. Uh, I was pretty much sold immediately. I was ready to to buy one like right then and there. Uh, Especially when I, when I found out that you don't have to charge it every time you shoot. Yeah. That was a big surprise as I was expecting the other ones you have to charge it every time you pull the trigger. Yeah, so. it's, it's semi-auto still yeah. so it feels just like shooting the real thing. Um, I was already, I thought it was a cool system when we first saw it, but after seeing the full like training kits um, coupled with the Blackbeard system, I was, I, I was sold on it immediately. <laughs> I'm going to get one and just practice like uh, on my days off. So. Well, it's good for practicing by yourself and it gets really fun when you have someone else to uh, challenge. Yeah, challenge. the competition aspect like brings a whole new level to it. Oh, yeah. It's super fun. No, I think it's great, and I'm, I'm glad you were able to come down here and show us all this, and I was, I'm was i glad I got a chance to use it because this is definitely, I mean, this is a game changer. It really is. Mm -hmm. I mean, if somebody incorporates this, uh, a shooter incorporates this uh, a couple times a week, um, you're going to up your game because really, and I mean, arbitrary number, but something along the line of 98% of every, everything you do in shooting, you can do dry firing. And then after that, it's just management of recoil and then what you do after recoils and then your sights back on target. Um, but that's just a small part of it. This right here is such a huge part of shooting. It's, it's a big deal. I love it. Visit stagarms.com and check us out on social media and YouTube at stagarms.